Hey everyone, Pupsker here. In Pupsker form, we're looking at the Wayfinder Early Access launch. This has been one of, I would say, unfortunately the worst Early Access launches known to man. Obviously, Early Access is still essentially just paid beta and it's there to essentially fix the game, but this is next level bad. Servers have been unplayable for so many people, they've only had max like five to 10,000 people in at once, and even then it's like tens of thousands of people are trying to play the game, so... Let's take a look, see how angry people are, see what's going on, as well as just cry to ourselves, right? Hey, this is a sadness post, so we all cry together. If we go right now and look at the Wayfinder Discord, it is constantly people crying, yelling, fighting, cussing each other out, having friggin' paragraphs on paragraphs, and then just yelling at each other, having useless, like... Making this because devs won't address refunding in the game's current state. I mean, they pretty much said refund it through Steam slash PlayStation, but no one listens, right? It's like, it's a lot of people just yelling to be sad internet folk. If you don't like the game or if uh, you can't handle the early access launch and how bad it's going, because it is like god awful, right? Refund the game, walk away, touch grass, leave the game, because if the game's going this bad and affecting your mental, that's not a good thing, but I digress. If you want to keep the uh, Discord up there to watch it, watch it. I'm 8,000 in queue. Queues right now are about 20,000 people, and they take like two hours to get into game, so it's rough. As you can see here, the game's already peaked at 24,000 people. So like, could you imagine if it was a free-to-play launch? It has peaked fourth day in. Day one, it peaked at 10, 11,000. Day two, it peaked at 20,000. And then day three, about the same, day four, about the same, but going up more to 20,000. So the game is peaking. It is definitely peaking and it, they just can't handle it. They definitely didn't expect early access to pop off this much. It's one of the most sold games on Steam for the like handful of days it's out. And every day, the more uh, stable the servers are becoming, the higher the peaks are getting. Therefore, the more unstable the servers are becoming. So everything's like self-cannibalizing itself in the fact that they're scaling up, but more people are trying to play it. And then more people are freaking out. You don't make people pay to test your shit. Wow, so many people have no clue what paid betas and early accesses are. They're legit like crazy humans. And I would say if you don't know what early accesses are, you probably aren't ready to play adult rated video games or have access to Steam and or credit cards. But I digress, right? The annoying thing about early accesses is that it's a literal paid beta and you sign up knowing that. Just too many people don't know that and then they cry so yeah obviously the early access launch sucks this is how it's going wayfinders we have a service update this has generally been the service updates they're seeing great progress server side more and more wayfinders able to enter the game right like this is day i would say two and four the game has been relatively stable just not enough people can actually get into the game at a reasonable amount of time which sucks right they're continuing to increase traffic and numbers, working to get disconnection grace period added because a lot of people are just getting disconnected before they like enter into GameCube because they've been in queue for so long, right? Thank you, add more servers. So a lot of people just don't understand anything either because there's a lot of people like this who just like, just click server, just add more servers, right? These people are dumb. They have no idea about anything going on in regards to the game and like back end, right? It's just people saying more server, please. When in reality, it's like, it's not that simple. There's a bajillion different things that are fucky-wucky. If it was as simple as click number up, add more server, I feel like that would have been done a million times. So there's a lot of just like brain dead, no worth takes, like just add more server, click up more. And it's just getting annoying. So there's a lot of comments that are just not worth anyone's time. So yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. But you're gonna see that a lot because almost no one who comments on game uh, infrastructure knows anything about infrastructure, right? Because the people who are working on games infrastructure are working on it and don't care to yell about it on Twitter because they know how fucking annoying it is.
Anyways, I released my Wayfinder Should You Buy Wayfinder Early Access video. The TLDR is no. I would recommend people give it like a couple of weeks, wait until the game's stable, and then buy it. But of course, yeah. A lot of people are like, yeah, queues are not getting better. Exact same thing. See, people, the queues are getting way better because day one, there wasn't a queue. Day two, there was a queue. Day three was dead. So it's like people are just yelling. They don't even know what they're talking about. They're not actually paying attention. Like, look at, look at these. They're just, people are just yelling, yelling. They have no idea what they're saying. It's a little insane, right? People don't know what early access is because too many companies, developers have used it. Yeah, no, it's true. Airship is pretty transparent, but it's definitely a beta and that founders packs are there for you to support them, not to purchase the game, which is honestly why it's hard to see this otherwise solid game get reamed on Steam. Early, as long as you can buy it, people will freak out no matter what, even if it's like expected it to be bad or rough. Yeah, it still sucks, obviously. But obviously everyone's like, yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying it. Don't buy it. Some people are more angry than others, but it's like, yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying it. Wait, just wait for it to go. I spent $150 on the game. I've hardly gotten to play mostly due to very long queue time. So you're going download. Then when you get into a game, okay, not worth spending money. Just wait for it to go free to play. Play Starfield or something like that. So like these people, they go into this game with the exact wrong mindset of the game anyways. So yeah, that's why you don't spend a ton of money on early access unless you know you're gonna play, enjoy, and chill with the game. But yeah, I agree. People are going a little too ham. Just refund the game, buy it later if you want, or just, you know, don't. If we go lastly to the Wayfinder subreddit, play Wayfinder subreddit, oh boy, is it mad. Wayfinder is the best thing that happened to me in months. <laughs> now this is 100% a shit post. Because, like, read read it. Thanks to Wayfinder, I had the one of the most productive days this year. In the uh, late morning, put myself into the queue while I was waiting. I did laundry, tidied up my spice rack, scrubbed bathtub and sink, vacuumed the whole flat, washed the hard floors, cleaned the glass balcony doors. At one point, I even got in. But I was at the grocery store, and by the time I got back to my PC, I was kicked to doing uh, due to inactivity. Meaning... I had another load of laundry, do the dishes, clean the bathroom rug. After I finally got in again after another 18 KQ, I went to like the first queue after tutorial, got kicked out after retrieving codex. This time getting a lovely 21 KQ. Ended up baking a batch of cookies, muffins, and pizza snails to entice some friends to cover and help me build a bookshelf. With their help, I finally got around to installing the bookshelf I bought in April. It's wobbly because that's floor corner, isn't that flat? But I stopped a hardware store tomorrow. I trust the Wayfinder queue will be there for me again. How has your Wayfinder been improving your day? <laughs> So all of it is people just like shit posting and being angry, like, ah, refunded and put the money towards Starfield. <laughs> and then there's people angry at the people who are angry about it. Oh, uh, it's everyone just fighting. How to move fast in Wayfinder. Oh, double jumping and then sprinting. Take uh, advantage of the increased velocity and how that works. Yup, yup, right? Guys, watch out, tabbing out is a serious offense that's actually cheating. After a four hour queue, I got to play for two minutes. Fuck. Queues this large are not okay, no shit. Wayfinder, vestige drop location slash bosses. Oh, nice, nice. So if you wanna know where everything is, you can just go here. Nice, nice little setup they have. You can go to the Wikizet as well, or any of the wikis. <laughs> SA, does he mean Airship Syndicate when they finally fix the game in two months? Where is everyone? Well, I mean, technically they already got the money. <laughs> but yeah, no, people will come back for any uh, free to play launch. Maybe that's because devs won't address refunding the game in the current state. Oh, I mean, they already said just fucking refund the game. I think this person's just being a salty boy. Yeah. Oh, no. So it looks like Steam are telling people that, uh, <laughs> that like some people won't get it. Oh no. Yeah, everyone's fighting. Fingers crossed for something terrible to happen to dip. Oh god. So yeah, this person's a piece of shit. There's so many pieces of shit like this person in the Discord though. Like who are actually trash humans, not worth anyone's time, who'd be better off just banned off the internet, right? Like, what a fucking asshole, clearly. So there's a lot of trash humans that are like this around in the Discord and just yelling like they can't play their game. Little fucking baby bitch boy can't play his game, so he threatens the life of the devs. Like, what a piece of trash human. And then, yeah, everyone's just freaking out, so... Man, this has been one of the worst fucking launches ever, man. And people are just freaking out. I think just too many people need to get a life. 
stop playing game if it's making them angry and stop queuing in game if it's making them angry. Too many people are not smart enough to do what's apparently good for themselves and they'd rather just yell about a game that they can't play when there's so much more you could do with your time other than sitting on Discord, Reddit, internet, and bitching and yelling about a game. Stop playing the game. Stop queuing. Just stop, dude. Go get yourself some happy, good vibes. Touch some grass. Refund the game if possible. If you hate it, you know, walk away. Walk away. It's better for your own health trying to avoid a brain aneurysm if you hate the game and if it's causing you that much mental anguish, just, just walk away, you know? Refund it, never play it again. You can come back if you want to, but if you don't, just, just never come back. It's okay. Delete your Airship Syndicate Warframe DE account. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's a DE account technically. Yeah, just walk away. It's okay to stop playing a game. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people have been freaking out and their lives have uh, been apparently ruined by this game and they're the ones who truly need to probably just stop stop queuing and playing the game. Either way, that was it for this little meme -y video talking about the awful early access launch again. Hope it helps, hope it doesn't, I don't know, like, sub, favorite, do a backflip and yeah, cheers, 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 cheers.